We have lived in this house for 120 years. <laughs> Not and anymore. I have no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. Hey what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with some more Red Dead Redemption. We are picking up right where we left off at the cliffhanger at the, uh, at the end of the last episode. So I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I'm sure you guys have been waiting so let's get straight into the gameplay. And yeah, we are now riding up on Calaga Hall to this epic music. With all the guys, we are here to save Jack. First song, now Jack. Yeah. All right. Stayed out of all of this. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this. Yeah, we definitely should have stayed out of it, but now we got some revenge. Come on, let's get this done, John. You sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Yeah, we already took care of the greys in the last one. Well, most of the greys. There they are. So let's, uh... Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of let's bitches. Let's deal with these guys now. I need you to stay calm. This is gonna turn into an all-out war. I want Jack back. Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. Yeah, that's that uh, a. You do it's a little bit too far. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. All right. This is how you want to do it. Ain't nothing we've handled handled before. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Let's use that dead eye. Sorry. I'm gonna turn the volume down a little bit. I need to find me some cover. We are doing this the hard way, but... I probably should have just kicked the door down, would have been a lot faster. Jack? Oh, shit. Well, that's not Jack. We need to get around. Arthur, get out. There, we got this 
Second, I thought Lenny was a uh, bad guy. There. It is a lot of people here. Sorry, I tend to go quite quiet when I'm focused up like this. Get through this window. I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, I can't get in from here. It's blocked, but I reckon it might give. All right. Oh, we gotta do it together. One, two, three. There we go. Got him. Where is Jack? Uh, you want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. <laughs> Not anymore. No problem, except for Where Yankees. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Mm -hmm. Where? I wouldn't is be the uh, insulting the Dutch right now. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? <laughs> yeah. Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her son? With? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. Oh, that's one way to do it. You got that one, I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. <laughs> no, no more cribbage. This is what happens when you mess with our gang. Ooh, see if I can get myself a little thumbnail here. No rules in war, Mr. Mm, little kids. Yes, that's it. That's definitely Where's awful. The boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. Oh, we so got our cell. My guess is Saint Denis. Either Ooh. there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Well, don't go back in there. Oh, thumbnail. Epic. Alright, so he's either in... I just say Saint Denis. I'll just call Saint Dennis. It's gonna work out, John. It's not that. Um, it's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't Saint expect Denis. you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am Or right on a now. boat to Italy. Hopefully it's not that one, though. You're doing the right thing. 
If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. Yeah. But, well, of course Marston scared Rotten. I mean, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. Yeah, we have caused a no, huge, no, huge colossal nothing. mess in the roads. Now we get that boy back and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Oh. Visitors. Crap. A solution. The Pinkertons. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, <laughs> sir. Rip Van Winkle. Agent Milton, sure. Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a I consequence, mean, that lets you that. take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. Mm. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? Well, they've definitely we all got Dutch's back. And quick. We need to leave, though. I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Oh, the. Lenny and I got this is that. the house, right? Dispute that me and Lenny. Previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. I may have cleared Two out the old right residence. Make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need to Follow me. Okay, so we need to go make sure that there's no one left. The Shady Bell or no one else has moved in. Gonna be all right, John. Yeah, Should we'll find Jack. Jack. We will. Right now we, we need have to... to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no Let's use take a little Jack shortcut. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Come on, John, hurry up. Once again, we drove right to it. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Yeah. Far too many. 
It's Dutch playing his games. Jose, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. One day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. <laughs> yeah, that's Come for sure. On. It ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah, other than being a little bit optimistic, yeah, it's it. been real. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Mm -hmm. All right, should be just down this path to the left here. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Yeah, we're living in luxury ain't now. Seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure. Only one Not way enough. to find out. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. All right. Let's go see if any. Oh. It's them again, boys. Ah! Still some here. I can see that. <laughs> Think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. <laughs> well, that guy's gun just stopped working. All right. I don't carry any more of this item. Where are any these guys? You upstairs? I'm coming for you. You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Mm. You get a message last time? Surprisingly, actually, no one put us up to it. We just Where need a place to stay. Time? Don't stick your head through a hole in the wall, my guy. That's how you want to do it? I knew you'd come soon enough. Who are you? You are some of the coward like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpetbaggers. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. What is this guy talking I about? Survive them all. Our fight will live on. Oh. Oh no. How's it looking up there? Well, I think that's a lot. That was horrible. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? I don't know if that's so good. Oh. I don't even know what that guy was rambling about. He was just he was causing nonsense. Give me a hand moving these bodies. I don't want the others walking into this. Yeah. Let's Follow do me. some house cleaning. Where right, are we putting way. them? We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Uh, lovely. Goodbye, my friend. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna meet up with the caravan. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You gonna meet up with the caravan. Guy in the mint. Well, thankfully, it didn't make me actually do all of that. Run. The gang is rolling in. Welcome home. <laughs> we got fine living. Nor the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Yeah, it's Mr. brilliant. Mr. Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. 
All right, let's go take a ride with old Dutch. Can you believe that girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? No. I got far more important things They've to worry about right now been fighting. So, where are we going? Every time I'm at camp, I swear they're having like a busy of the world, screaming at each other. I, keep I need some stamina. Uh, according to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. So we're gonna go well, visit okay? civilization yeah, now. Nothing major. And John, see what it looks like. About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. Yeah, we're John's not doing to too well. That boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe So we're looking for an Angelo Bronte. Put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. That's we why are you riding a few days here. And then right on the right side of the road, like a normal further. person. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Yeah. The mess with those two families. The, oh my gosh. Sean, Where are you I going? See things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? San Denis. Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do. Cornwall. We'll hey, on. we've rubbed him a few times. <laughs> okay, there she is. You know the Pinkertons are like a real city. detective agency. The future. Like super, super like dodgy people, I think. They're still around to this day. Always the private, um, private militia, basically. Exactly. It's quite interesting. Got to read up about them. There. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Right. We finally made it to the big city. And this looks like it's the end of this chapter. Seems like every time we move camp, we we get a new chapter. Chapter four. Send an e. Yeah, we still got a little bit of time, so we might take on one one mission. Let's see. Let's see what's in store for us on our map. Ah, okay. So this is the city, as you can now see. We're starting to uncover a lot of the map. So we started in Valentine, did a little bit of strawberry. We've done now roads, and now we're going out this way. I think we still have quite a lot to to explore okay but there's a lot of shops here now as well which is nice so we can get to buying some stuff okay so we need to start asking around so let's go have a look and see what we can find out about this mr bronte yeah this is this is proper civilization now. This is not the Wild West. This is the tame East. All right. Let's hitch up our horse. All right. So we got to go into the saloon. Stick him up, cowboy. Looks like Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot. I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me. Yeah. I'll meet you back here. Pinnacle or not. Of cool. Oh, these gentlemen are not accustomed. They're all wearing like fancy suits and ties, and um, I mean, I don't look bad. 
but I definitely well don't look like them. America's dirty little French seat over here. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, hey, I'll get you in a, a second. Drink here? Not unless we all get washed away. No, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. <laughs> now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. I, I am indeed a whiskey man. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, Mister, I wonder what happens if I come into this ball with no money. Because it takes away from my actual. Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. All right, well, we didn't make much headroom there. Oh. Wait a Mr. second. Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Sure. Where can I find him? As long as you oh, tell me where to find him. Well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, the kids in the alley, of course. Oh, hey, friend. You will be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. It's mildly xenophobic. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry about that, officer. Okay, let's go talk to the sketchy kids that live in the alley. Well, I mean, they probably don't live in the alley. It's really but... become quite the craze. So... Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Brad. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? I don't like these Stay kids. Close. They're you sketchy. Again, I wonder if I don't have Come money. On, you new to the city, mister? That'll be an experiment. Pretty if much. any of you guys know what no happens no if you do this, I'm sure there's a video on YouTube right? somewhere. Let me know it down in the well, comments. Need his services, but if you do this mission, you need at least seven dollars. Nice That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here is a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, Mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse. That is which quite is a. France. You've been to Toulouse, Mister? Quite a pretty, pretty no. church. We're Catholics here, Mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, Mister. Look Bro, I just want to know where Bronte is. Hey, hey, you little bit of, ah, shit. of course. Get going. He's coming after us. You give that back. Uh, come back here. Yeah. And I'm obviously not gonna. I can't shoot a kid, so. Just gotta run after him. Come on, Arthur. Oh, this kid's gonna get it. Come back, yeah. Hey, yo. You up for that kid? Yeah. Put a shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. Hey, mister, you seen a boy running through here? Which way did he go? I haven't. No. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister. That's there he is. Come, Come back, yeah. 
gotta love kids. Yo, when I catch up to this dude. Oh. Crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> what was this guy's name? Cletus. Right there, old man. Come on, Arthur. You better stop right now. Ah. You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my mm. things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. Give me my things. What does that have to do with I'm anything? Here. Bronte. At home. Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. <laughs> it's quite a town. Yeah. Get lost. The civilized east. Not so civilized. At least I got all my money back. All right, let's go tell Dutch. Uh, what we learned. All right. Dutch, well, we found him. Oh, come on. Arthur, what are you doing? Bro, what is this guy doing? There we go. He's just running around been? in circles. Getting robbed? Who by? Kids. Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. <laughs> but I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. All right. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. The world's changing. All right, well, that is going to be it for today's episode. So I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed. This was quite a fun episode. We've now transitioned to chapter four, I think. As far as I can remember, there's six chapters. So we're getting there. There's probably still quite a lot of game left to play though. So definitely consider subscribing so you guys can keep up to date with that. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.